that's what the corpus of anxiety is, and it, you know, and this is, and also it's good for business. There's a there's a whole industry built upon relief of these anxieties, which you know, it's it's really quite frightening what's been done to people. This is why I'm a big sort of a advocate of this whole, you know, like we're talking about that that fearmonger Alex Jones earlier on and his Freudian slip, you know, this whole thing of like. You know, wake up! We gotta wake people up! We gotta wake people up! Again, it's taking away the personal journey that the person has to to find upon themselves. Yes. And and if you're if you're rattling someone down, wake up! Wake up! You know, wake the sheep's up! Wake the dumb the dumb plebs up! What you're doing is you're enforcing a form of fascism on them. You're imposing your will on them. Yes. It's not it's not your job to do that, and that's one in two ways. One, you're infringing on that person's sovereignty, and two, you're robbing yourself of the solution to do something about it yourself because you're too busy being an evangelical, uh, what they call truthers or whatever they call them. And that's that's the reason why they exist. These 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 uh, pie pipers like Alex Jones is to trap you in, to bring you a little bit further, but not to your full potential. You're still in the chrysalis, you have not emerged into the butterfly state yet because the final no butterfly or moth is taken out of the chrysalis by another butterfly or a moth it, it, they emerge by their own free will and this is this is all about free will stifling at every level but also the self entrapment, the, the self uh, the self bondage uh, to, to the pe people who who claim that they're on some kind of a path of enlightenment, whether it be in a religion or whatever, and they're, they're not really. All they've done is push themselves to the front of the queue <laughs> to hold the others back or to pretend they're bringing them on. And they're not. They're, they're just, they're just jumped to the edge of the line, but they haven't actually gone that one step further. And that's what that's all about, this whole thing of, like, you know, the way to find knowledge is to stumble upon the information and when that seed is planted in there, if you don't react to that, that's your free will. However, if you <clears> are ready for a transformative personal process, if you are ready for a psychological, I won't say upgrade, but a psychological, I don't know. Change. Flourishing, yeah, yeah, change. You alone must take that step. You must be like Jesus come for the 40 days in the wilderness you have to do this. It's not all, all ethnic tradition, all folk tradition have stories of the hero who went out on their own and had that transformative journey on their own. This, and it's, it's caught because that's the, that's the parable. You have to do this alone. This brings me to uh, back to the tarot because I wanted to touch upon the whole thing about on your own and of your own free will and how they keep trying to implement new ways and systems of uh, obfuscation of uh, mesmerizing uh, brainwashing right um, the traditional uh, fortune telling is actually an attempt to brainwash you oh yes yeah. it is it yeah. is it is you touching the cards and it's me actually turning them. This yes. is what in 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 uh, in, in in sales uh, training, right? You get taught that there's this thing called a cross, where if uh, if if you are a traveling salesman and you get offered a, a coffee in the living room, you need to take control and say no, no, no. Let's take the coffee in the kitchen. Because once you've taken control, you create the cross, you create the dominance, right? You take over everything. That means, first of all, you've asserted yourself in a dominant position. And then your only goal as a salesman is to make them say yes, yes, yes. It is exactly the same thing being used in cold reading. You need yeah. to get oh, people to say yes, yes, yes. Yeah, it's a confidence trick. And and once you, you you do that, you have taken over uh, their will. You have become a um, parasite, 
and you are now not just the parent of them you are their leader you are the slave owner they have to oh do yeah oh yeah and and like when i people people find out i'm interested in the tarot and i don't do divination i don't do readings for other people i'm purely interested in it in as in a psychological and creative uh, toolbox that's what i use it for and that's the that's the point that's it that's its purpose that's, it's that and a game but i use it for that i use it's to me it's a handy canon of archetypal western symbolism that can help me develop a creative solution to many things that's where it begins and that's where it ends but you would be amazed how many people come up to me and say and when, I, when i tell them i'm very interested in the tarot they'll say to me oh i got a reading about 10 years ago from a gypsy at the seaside and she's i got i got the tarot card what does that mean it's bad isn't it there's still the slave of this charlatan in the caravan who, who, as you said, took, took sovereignty of their, uh, their psychology yes. and created a slave, a slave for all eternity. And this is also 